Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a song by an American pop group called The Jonas Brothers. They're pretty famous and popular in the United States. They have over 400,000 subscribers on their YouTube channel, which is pretty impressive. I'd seen their name a lot in the entertainment sections of news websites, but I'd never heard their music, so I decided to check it out. And I thought it was pretty disappointing. I thought if their music was crappy, that'd at least be really good looking, but... Anyway, I think lame pop songs can be very good to study, if you don't mind listening to them, because they're very easy to understand, and they're full of cliches, very unoriginal phrases, which are good to learn if you don't know them already, because they're used so often. I chose a song called S.O.S., which is their most popular song on their YouTube channel. S.O.S. is, of course, a message for help, and the song is something about the end of a relationship. This is the chorus. Oh, this is an S.O.S. Don't want a second guess. This is the bottom line. It's true. I gave my all for you. Now my heart's in two. And I can't find the other half. It's like I'm walking on broken glass. There are a few words there you might not know. Firstly, second guess has a couple of meanings. To guess what somebody will do before they do it. And to criticise somebody after a decision has been made. I'm not sure which one he means in the song. Maybe the first one. The bottom line is the underlying and most important factor. Your all is an idiom which means everything you have. I gave my all for you means something like I tried my very best in the relationship or I was very nice to you. But now his heart is broken and he can't find the other half. <laughs> Kia ora, this is Stick News. Yesterday in the United States of America, a plane landed in a river after flying into a bird. Flight 1549 was on its way from New York to North Carolina with 155 people on board. Less than three minutes after takeoff, the pilot called air traffic controllers to say he had experienced a bird strike and declared an emergency. He then landed the plane in a river. No people died in the accident, and the president said he was impressed with the skill of the pilot. And that was Stick News for Friday the 16th of January. Kia ora. On the way back from Annapuri the other day, KNF picked up some hitchhikers. Of course, he hit them up for an interview before he let them get out. Today's word is overrated. This is an adjective which means that something is rated more highly than you think it deserves to be. So if a movie got some Oscars and everybody keeps going on about how great it is, but you don't like it, you could say, oh that movie is so overrated. Why does Snow White often get angry with the seven dwarves? because of the way they greet her. Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho. You know the line in the song, I'm done with awkward situations? What does done mean? You don't use done? What does it mean in that sentence? Yeah. I think that's American English. Not like that. It means, 
I've had enough of or I'm sick of. So the singer or whoever wrote the song doesn't want to experience any more awkward situations. To criticize somebody after a decision has been made. A. Awkward. B. Bottom line. C. Overrate. D. Second guess. E. You're all. Second guess. The underlying and most important factor. Bottom line. Everything you have. You're all. Hard to do or deal with. Awkward. Rate more highly than is deserved. Overrate. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.